Hello everyone and welcome back to Milo Farms. Well, it is about the latter part of April. Today I'm not sure exactly what the date is, but we've got our first bee swarm of the year. I'm not sure which hive this came out of, but we've got it right here. And so we're gonna go ahead and try to catch it today. So what I've already done is I've got an empty box here that has some drawn out frames in it of varying different kinds and just pieces and parts. I've got that sitting here in the box with the bottom. I've already set one of the frames out here and you can see the bees are already pretty interested in that. I've got a queen cage right here, a queen clip, a rubber band, hive tool, and then I've already put some pollen patty in here, ready to go. And then I'll probably go ahead and put some uh, sugar water in here as well, some uh, some one-to-one -one sugar water in this hive as well once we get this situated here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get these bees into this box and then if we find the queen, we're gonna try to put her in this queen clip and then secure her to a, hot, a frame right here in the middle. And I've taken one frame out that we're not gonna have in the hive for the time being for the first couple days. So let's go ahead and get started here. I've already turned the electric fence off for my benefit so we don't have an issue with that or kill any bees in the process. So I've set down my lid or my inner cover. I've set down a frame here. You can see they're already starting to climb down on it. So you can see right here is the biggest section kind of in this middle. So most likely the queen's probably in there somewhere. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick these up very carefully and scoop them up. And then we're gonna start laying them into this box. We're not hurting the bees or anything. We're just laying them in there. And then we're gonna start seeing the bees migrate this way or they're gonna migrate this way. And then we'll know that the queen's either over here or over here depending on the direction they try to migrate. And in this stage, the bees are pretty docile because they don't really have anything to defend. They've taken as much food as they're gonna take from the hive, filled up their stomachs, and took off to go find a new house. And then they landed here because the queen needed to take a little bit of a break. So right now we've got all the bees here. You can see there's some bees kind of doing some marching over here, like they might be coming back out. And then some of them are kind of moving around. Some of them are down here on this lower frame. So we're going to go ahead and keep going here. So I've moved about half the bees over into this box and I'm kind of waiting to see what happens here if we see the bees come back this way or if they're going back that way to see where the queen might be and then we'll start looking for her here. I'm thinking she's still on the pole so we'll keep going here. Well, it could be down here at the bottom where there's this big mound of bees. Then they keep building up up here too. big drones.
Did you get her? So we caught the queen. I'm not sure if we caught that on camera or not. She happened to be down on that lid that was on the ground, that inner cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a rubber band around here, just like that. I got the queen right here in this queen clip. So this queen clip has holes in it. The holes are big enough for the workers to be able to reach through and feed her and take care of her, but they're small enough that she can't get out. So we're gonna go ahead and clip her right here onto this frame right there and then like I said I already left out one of the frames we're gonna take this frame with the queen on it put it right here in the center of the hive and then we're gonna leave enough gap that the workers can still get in there and take care of her then we're gonna go ahead put this inner cover on right here We're going to put the outer cover on, close that up, and then right here, the rest of these bees, we can try to catch some of them and get them over here by the entrance, but we should be able to see most of them are going to find their way into this box, because you can see down here at the front, they're starting to fan and let that smell of the queen out so they can tell where she's at. There is a possibility that there's a second queen somewhere in this bunch of bees, but I'll keep looking. I don't think there is one because all these bees over here are looking a little bit frantic and starting to kind of head down and walk over that direction. So I don't think there's a second queen over there. There could be a second queen in the box somewhere, but pretty unlikely we probably found the queen. So now what we've done is we've kind of used this extra frame to build a sort of a bridge across here. So you can see all these bees right now are walking down this pole and walking across this frame and then they're going to go over and go into that box. We're going to go ahead and leave this here until tonight, until it gets dark. Hopefully the goats are smart enough to steer clear of this, at least for a few hours. We're going to leave this right here until it gets dark. And then we're going to come out here and we're going to take this hive box and we're going to move it over here to the spot that we have ready for it. We're going to leave that queen in the cage for at least a couple days. And then we're going to turn her loose in there and hopefully by then they'll have settled in and they'll be doing pretty good. And she won't want to go anywhere. But we are going to leave her kind of trapped there for now. The bees will still be able to take care of her. The other option that you could do if you couldn't find the queen but you knew she was in there, you'd want to make sure you block off this hole right here and block off this top entrance that's under here, but you can put another queen excluder down here on the bottom so all the workers can get in and out through the excluder and get outside and then come back, but the queen cannot leave the box. And you would be able to do that if you didn't find the queen but you knew she was in there. But in this case, we just stumbled upon her and did find her. So we're gonna go ahead and just leave these alone, let them do their thing, let them get taken care of, and we'll come back out here tonight, take this hive and move it over to our new location. So that's everything right there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, you can't finish a project without getting started.